Hi everybody, it's Casey in Arizona, zone 9B. I've been outside working today in the garden. Um, I've been feeding my plants some fish emulsion. Every two weeks or so in the growing season, I give my plants a nice feeding of this very, very stinky, smelly, gross, disgusting fish emulsion. But the plants love it and uh, you'll definitely need to take a shower after you use it. It is, it is nasty, but it's great for the plants. And now I'm gonna show you my roses. They are gorgeous. This is my tombstone rose. And this was getting out of hand last fall. And so I chopped it down and I'm letting it grow back now. But look at it, it's so pretty. This thing will get huge, absolutely huge. If you've ever been to Tombstone, Arizona, Woo! I dropped my phone. Good catch though, I saved it. <laughs> if you've ever been to Tombstone, Arizona, you will find a rose bush that's been there for like a hundred years. And it is the Tombstone Rose. And it is magnificent when it's in bloom. This is the entry into um, my courtyard. It's my side yard, I guess, technically, but look at my roses. They're going bonkers. This is called a Joseph's coat. And look how gorgeous they are. Pinks and reds and yellows and oranges. So pretty. This is a knockout rose. Does very, very well here in our summer heat in Tucson. This beauty is a Miranda Lambert. So gorgeous. I need to trim it up, but I just don't want to because it's blooming and it's so pretty. I don't remember the name of this one but it's a climber and it's gorgeous too. And then I have another Joseph's coat right here. This one is a stunner also. And it did not come as a tree rose, but I trimmed it up that way last year and it seems to be working out. My daughter picked this one out when we first moved in here. It's just a little bare root rose. And now look at it. It's pretty magnificent. These are my $2.50 rose bushes I got from Walmart a few years ago. And I didn't really think that they would amount to anything and look how huge they are. I do need to trim them up. I think I missed it for this year though. I'll have to do it in the fall. They're just now starting to bloom. They're so pretty. This is my double delight rose. And I have it planted next to my sunny, I think this is called sunny knockout rose. You could tell they are um, about to bloom. And I think they're gonna bloom prolifically. I have another sunny down here. And a dog named Sunny as well. My other roses aren't blooming, but these are. So spring is finally here. We've had such a long, cold winter in Tucson, if you can believe it. It snowed several times here this winter. So I'm glad it's finally springtime and the flowers are gorgeous. <laughs> 